Researchers find evidence keto diet may increase type 2 diabetes risk. Though many people claim the keto diet to be a game changer or a lifesaver, a newly released study raises questions about its ability to cause type 2 diabetes. The study, which was conducted on mice, evaluated the keto diet. The keto diet is a low carb, high fat diet plan that causes the body to burn fat instead of carbohydrates, a process known as ketosis. The Journal of Physiology published the research, which said following the diet in its early phases could boost the risk for type 2 diabetes. They found that keto diets don't allow the body to properly use insulin, so blood sugar isn't properly controlled. That leads to insulin resistance, which can raise the risk for type 2 diabetes. The researchers say they didn't evaluate if the diet causes obesity after long-term use. They called for additional research to better understand how keto diets affect the body. Although ketogenic diets are known to be healthy, our findings indicate that there may be an increased risk of insulin resistance with this type of diet that may lead to type 2 diabetes, said Christian Wolf from, Ph.D., a professor at ETH Zurich and co-author of the research. Gerald Grandl, Ph.D., co-author of the study and professor at the German Research Center for Environmental Health, said that insulin resistance and the keto diet have been studied before. No one will get type 2 diabetes while on keto, simply because the carb intake is not high enough to develop any form of hyperglycemia, he said. What happens is the liver becomes insulin resistant, which he thinks is reversible when the person switches back to a high carb, low, or medium fat diet. But adding carbs to a diet high in fats is definitely a bad idea, he said. To the contrary, based upon many biomarkers that predict the incidence of type 2 diabetes, nutritional ketosis benefits all of them, he told Healthline. There's a lot of research that suggested using carbohydrate restriction can help the disease, he added. Finney said that people struggle to follow a ketogenic diet if they have type 2 diabetes because they don't find it sustainable. Finney said research on mice is valuable, but not all conclusions in mice studies can be replicated in humans. Additionally, the high fat content of the diet was mostly from high amounts of vegetable shortening, which isn't recommended for humans because it's been shown to boost blood sugar and may harm the liver. The study in mice is at odds with some previous research on the benefits of low-carb diets. There isn't much data on long-term effects of low-carb eating. We also know that limiting carbohydrates to such a degree can be challenging for some patients and there can be a risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, particularly in patients with type 2 diabetes, Sri Nott said. She said that short-term use of low-carb diets in people with diabetes has to be closely monitored by doctors. She recommends carbohydrate moderation and provides instruction on how people can count and manage carb intake along with the addition of physical activity. Srinat said it's too soon to establish a correlation between the keto diet causing type 2 diabetes. There are five basic recommendations for people who are overweight or obese, or experience adiposopathy, insulin resistance, prediabetes, and diabetes. The human body needs protein, carbohydrate, and fat. The observation that insulin resistance develops after fasting is not new, he added. Gonzalez Compoy doesn't recommend going on any diet because that's a short-term solution. Regardless of whether or not you want to try the keto diet, there are some people who shouldn't for medical reasons. Gonzalez Compoy noted that people with chronic renal failure in stages 3, 4, or 5 should not follow the keto diet. People with type 1 DM would be best off avoiding the keto diet, they are already at risk of ketoacidosis, he explained. The singer and actor shares why using the time and range metric to help manage his type 1 diabetes has been a life-changing discovery. There's no one-size-fits-all diet to help you manage your blood sugar. I learned that the best type 2 diabetes diet is the one that works for you.